Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video, this is your boy Legend Ronnie and today I just stumbled upon a picture on Facebook and I want to tell you how real or how true this picture is and how possible it is that this might just come into Rise of Kingdoms. As you all know, this is something that we all wanted. We wanted more value from our sculptures, particularly sculptures that we don't really need commanders some of them that you already see in this picture the fact that you have Boudica over there in this picture you can also tell you that this is a very recent picture as Boudica was released not very long ago this picture comes from Facebook it was also shared to me by Dolmir and I believe Avatar was the one that that found it so it, it went hand in hand from player to player to player there is also many things that are circling around on Discord or Facebook. There is also a possibility that um, John of Arc, the people know the skills of John of Arc. I'm not very convinced about them. I've also se seen them. I might just post a, a picture, just like a quick thing, just in case you haven't seen it already or what are the possible skills. But what I want to talk in this video is about this picture. There's actually three pictures, it's not just one. But it is about the extra shop in the Alliance that we might possibly have. Like how real this is, how interesting this is, how possible that this is and all the above. So as of right now, as you look at the Alliance shop, this is a real image from the game. We only have three options on our Alliance shop. But on this image, you have the four option. And as you see, it is the same recycling icon that you have on the other things. So, for example, when you go in the game and you click on the recycling icon, you notice that you have all the things that you can possibly recycle. And on this picture, you have an extra recycling option with an extra type of coin, which you see it's kind of bluish over there on the top. So it's not silver as our current currency when you're recycling it is bluish now on this uh, this image right here if i'm scrolling further down it also shows the value of the epic sculptures so this player uh, it also shows the value of selling legendary sculptures and also shows the value of selling epic sculptures then if we go further down it also shows what you can buy from the shop now this is one thing that it kind of turned me over or i wasn't very convinced like why is it the shop coming on the bottom because in our game right now when you go on the live game they don't change so you go on the shop the shop stay on on the top you go on the recycling the recycling stays on the bottom so it's not like they change the order and in this picture, the order is being changed. Now, I can't show the middle one is because um, it's the Alliance credits. And we are going in KVK, so I can't really um, expose such information. So, I do apologies. And in this image, as you already see, the shop goes on the bottom. Now, what you see in this picture is really great. I mean, who wouldn't want to trade their legendary sculptures? It's, it's really something that we would want, I think. People have been asking for something like this. Because right now, if you want to trade your sculptures, you can only do that in KVK. And what do you get back? 20 legendary sculptures and a lot of compensation chests, which a lot of people don't really care about the compensation chest. A lot of people are probably even saving their legendary sculptures or saved their legendary sculptures. And if they did, and this shop will ever be real, then I'm pretty sure they will be able to buy a buttload of keys. As you already see in the bottom, that there is keys as well. Which again, this is something that kind of makes makes it a little bit unrealistic. Like legendary keys the for the legendary tavern or legendary chest or wherever you will be able to use them. I'm, I'm not really sold about that. But if this ever really happens, I mean, this is something really great in my opinion. To be able to to trade in your uh, your legendary sculptures and your epic sculptures for currency to be able to spend it in a shop or in a different shop it might be the same shop i have no idea maybe the the credits are become a, a different type of credits like all the credits 
will uh, will be bluish like even our current credits the one that you can recycle the the other different things that i already showed you in the game um they are all being converted in this uh, bluish credits and it's gonna be an a single shop where um alliance leaders don't have to spend credits anymore to fill up the shop i have no idea this is um as news to me as it is to you now my honest opinion because i already inspected uh, this picture very closely is that they are fake <laughs> they i mean i would really wish that this is ever going to happen i would really want to have like a 50 percent army expansion that i can trade a few um sculptures in and just buy army expansion or just buy keys if you need to unlock or if you need some extra sculptures or whatever reason teleports and so on I really love the idea. I mean, the idea is amazing. It is a great idea, but it really looks fake. Now, the reason being is because I zoomed in on that bluish coin and is looking exactly as the silver coin. You have to zoom in on the PC for me it's very large and I, I was able to figure this thing out. They look the exact shape. Now, if you go to the um, to the alliance where you have your alliance credits that you can check uh, yourself as well. I can't check. I already said why. You will see that it has a crown on it. So it's a different coin. The gold coin, the alliance credits, they are very different than in your individual credits. They have different shape. Now, this, uh, these new coins, they look exactly. They just have a different color. Now, it can be the same theory that I was saying earlier. They might want to um, rework the alliance shop and make everything unlimited. Like as long as you have credits and you just want to buy something, the same thing over and over to have it unlimited. As long as you have credits, like you want to trade in all your sculptures because you want to buy passports, then you can do that. So that would be a great idea. But the other thing that, uh, that turned me over about uh, this picture is... I'm not sure how well you guys see, but on, on the PC, like I said, it's different, is the timer. So this picture and this picture were both taken on the same time. Now, that's very possible because you click on one, you screenshot, you click on the other, you screenshot. But I think there should be at least a second between. It is the same 40, 23, 30 something, 40. And then on this one, 23, 30 something, 40. And on this one is different. So I'm not sure if someone is fast enough to do two screenshots in a second but that's that's another thing that kind of turned me over that this looks like fake and then is the fact that the shop comes on the bottom and then there is no menu because as you know when you go into into your regular shop in the game there is a menu well not for the recycling part but for the purchasing part you see there is speed ups resources boots maybe this is also in development like um what we are seeing in this picture is also in development, so it's not all completely done. But like I said, this can can be very easy fabricated, in my opinion. But the idea is really amazing. I wanted to share it um, so you can have an, an idea about what they could possibly do or might, what possibly might come. But I just don't think that this is very realistic, in my opinion. However... I would definitely wish that something like this would come into the game because like I said the idea is really amazing there will be a lot of backfire because how many people uh, spent their credits and if I just show you mine real quick if I go into my other you're noticing that I have 400,000 compensation chests now how many silver keys and gold keys uh, has that been and how many sculptures I had to trade in in order to acquire all this? That's definitely a lot. Now, I'm I'm a hoarder. I like to hoard things. So that's why I haven't opened them. I also know that the value on them is not as big as, as you probably think. If I would open those without... I'm not counting the resources, just the speedups is probably around 100,000 uh, minutes. Yeah, some 100,000 minutes or speed ups that I could probably use universal and training. Let's see if this is uh, really going to happen or if they are thinking now that someone made this or like I said, maybe this is even real. I have no idea. 
but if someone made this maybe they have some ideas how they could potentially rework the shop and because this is something that i have talked in one of my very old videos um probably something that i've done about a year ago or eight months ago things that should change or things that need to be changed in the game so this is a, a great idea how they should do it just make a universal shop where r4 r5 they don't need to restock it and then as long as people have credits then they will just uh, spend it there and i think that will be an, an easy fix for everyone right so let me know in the comment section below what do you think is this real is this not would you like this to happen would you like this not to happen until next time this is the is running signing off peace out here and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there my friends Thank <laughs> you.